Hi there, Dave here, that foreign bloke in Udon Thani, Thailand. Um, today's Tuesday, the 15th of December, and um, I've just been picking some passion fruit. Um, starting to feel a little bit more with it now, so uh, I am uh, doing a little bit now and again. Yeah, now Joe's friend just came and um, brought some homegrown organic lettuce. So that looks rather nice and crunchy. So we'll be having some of that later on probably. Yeah, that's one of the good things about uh, having the farm and living on the farm here. We get, um, we grow all sorts of stuff, but we don't grow everything. But then other people, friends and relatives and what have you grow other things. So we'll have too much one thing we're gonna to have too many tomatoes soon so um obviously we give away a lot of tomatoes but in return we're getting things back like the lettuce or um mangoes and um, we get all sorts of stuff so uh, yeah it works out well we get a lot of fresh produce and it's all locally grown by friends and family so that's good just give you a quick update on the vegetable growing we've got um out here we've got pumpkins growing I'm not quite sure what that is there. That's come in the last few days. But um, the original rows of vegetables, as you can see, are starting to uh, look like something. We've got another row of tomatoes here, as I was mentioning before. Um, here we've got zucchinis, quite a lot of zucchinis there. So that will be good because they are one of my faves. Um, onions, garlic, pak choy, um, coriander, dill, and um, I can't remember what else at the minute, but uh, some other vegetables, uh, pakana I think is one of them, but anyway, yeah, all looking good on the vegetable growing front. I, myself, am uh, working now, it's Tuesday afternoon, uh, I just popped out for a breath of fresh air and to uh, switch uh, one of the water taps off for the irrigation so uh, I'm going to go back in to my office and uh, carry on working. <laughs> uh, I am at uh, Narcoq which is um, land that Jao owns which is still forest and um, she and her friend who's helping uh, now have been cutting down trees to build a new uh, Tiangna on the farm. So uh, just loading up the wood onto the pickup now. <laughs> Okay, the reason for the wood is to build a Tiang Na here under our tree, my camp tent. We bought these two new uh, bamboo uh, Tiang bed thing to sit on. And it's a very sheltered spot here, as you can probably tell with the bamboo and the uh, the tree so um, this would make a perfect spot to have a thing there so Joe wants to build one here with these so um, the one over there where the cats eat and what have you is uh, a little bit exposed compared to here so this would be a much better place so that's why they're doing it so um, yeah anyway I'm gonna get back to work good Wednesday morning um, up rather late um, I've been taking medication that helps me sleep um, since I've not been feeling well and uh, it means I sleep a lot later now than I used to do usually do so I didn't wake up till 10 to 10 this morning so um, normally I'm up about 6 30 or 7 o'clock but um, anyway I get into my rest which is the main thing um, so this morning we are going to go home to the house um, we're going to do some washing, feed the dogs, 
Uh, we bought some stuff for the dogs. We haven't seen them for a week or more. And um, then we're going to go and do some business. Charles got me to go to the, uh, the farmer's bank. And then we, um, we need to get some shopping. So, some food. So, uh, that's on the agenda today. I've just been sweeping out the, uh, the back of the pickup. All the, all the remnants from yesterday with the uh, the wood. There's a lot of dust and rubble and of course, if you don't sweep it out, it's all like a cloud behind you and it gets in people's eyes when they're on motorcycles, so it's not very friendly. Cool breeze today, but it's a lovely, warm, sunny day again. So, right, we're off. Okay, we've been to the bank, it went very quickly, so now we're home. Uh, gonna give the dog some bones and um, I am going to do some laundry. Right, I've got the old chain dry here. Um, we've got a nasty ant hole in the concrete in front of the gate here and they keep digging out sand, bringing out tons and tons of sand. I'll show you where it is. I'm going to um, exterminate the ant. So this is the nest. Um, there was loads more sand and I took it all away but I think they're going to make a big uh, damage because the um, underneath will just be hollow so they're going to get the treatment. Right, well I've exterminated the ant and the doggies are happy they got their bones so everyone's pleased with things. It's Wednesday morning now, and um, no, it's not. It's Thursday morning. Um, Thursday morning, and now the um, saw the wood being collected the other day. Now they are now building the Tiang Na, the shelter, the second one, just here. I'll show you. Someone's helping. Huh? <laughs> oh, up, up, up. Oh, And these are homegrown. Uh, Sweet potato, which so I was going to make a um, a Thai dessert with coconut milk and a lot of sugar. And in the meantime, the king now is coming on. Check on the progress. Mm. Mm. Mini meal bun cafe e Okay, it's um it's about five thirty. Quarter to six, probably, on Thursday evening. Um, the girls have finished building the shelter, the Tiang Na. A uh, little bit more to do there. Going to draw, take some electric from the house there, and build the little outdoor fireplace and kitchen as well there. Um, and I am working, but I've just taken. 10 minute break to have a bit of a walk before it gets dark and then it'll be back to back to my desk until 10 o'clock but there's only three more full working days left till we go on our Christmas break so that is that's nice and we have a nice sunset tonight okay it's Friday evening and um, 
We've just come out to do some shopping, but we haven't eaten, so we decided we're going to get something to eat. So we're just looking on the side of the road here near Nampajak. Okay, we found a place to eat. That's my pack of pal. Got right now. Okay, Bob. Okay. So there you go. Dinner for two, 100 baht. <laughs> but um, we only had drunk water. It was only just because we haven't had time to eat today because we've been busy working. And Jan's been busy on the farm. Anyway, we're going to go and do some grocery shopping and the time now. And then be uh, the, uh, home to bed, I think. Tired. The Tesco opened to uh, 10.30 or 11 o'clock, so uh, we've still got time. Yes, that's the famous, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We are in Lotus to do some shopping and it's very late and everything's closed, but we made the shop on Jingle Bells now as well. Anyway, we're going to do some grocery shopping now. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Christmas tree. Right, it's Saturday afternoon, evening. Just come to the neighbouring village market, the little market. It was quite a big market today. Some of it's over the other side of the road over there. Anyway, a selection of things to eat. Just waiting for Josh, she's come to buy something down there. And then we shall go home and eat something. Okay, everything in the back of the car. We've also got here three sacks of rice bran we got for a special price. And um, we use this for feeding the fish, so. Uh, there's 60 kilos of rice bran. So there you go, um, just a quick look at the uh, Saturday evening market. I've done absolutely nothing today. I've been so tired uh, after working during the week. Um, unfortunately, that's how I get at the minute especially. So I have very little energy to do anything um, at the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And tomorrow is our anniversary, so I'm hopefully going to feel a little bit more like it. Uh, so we can go out and eat or do something a little bit special. But we shall see how it is. Anyway, still waiting for jam, so uh, I'm going to sit in the car and then we're going to go home. I'm feeling a bit peckish now. Here she comes. One of the things about filming in the market, everybody plays loud music. And sometimes I think it might be copyrighted or whatever. And also it's a bit hard to um, hear yourself talk or hear what I have to say. But anyway, how do I hit that? Uh, right, now we're going on. This is the other side of the market. It's um, it's like, it's on a crossroad. So part of it's up the road to the right if you come down from the road heading in front of us here and this part we never really go to because it's like too far away from the other part of it but there's quite a lot on this side tonight so um, we've actually stopped here because Joe's going to get some of this years now get some bones for the dogs uh, from the pork seller here his wife is selling pork on the other side so you can see what I mean by it being a bit split up into two anyway this is the other side of the market opposite the school and um, we will be heading straight down that road uh, once John's finished and it's about two kilometers to our house to our farm oh no it's probably about three kilometers actually but anyway straight down that way just uh, been waiting at the gate for a delivery with um, Little Express, a Lazada order. Uh, it's Sunday morning and um, I ordered Friday morning. Um, and uh, yeah, amazing quick delivery. I ordered Friday morning and uh, from a, 
That's how they're in Bangkok and delivered to me here at the farm Sunday morning. So, um, top draw. So, this is my uh, printer ink. My, um, my printer ink ran out, so I couldn't. Um, I couldn't. Oh, my sister in law to <laughs> I couldn't um, print out documents for work, so uh, that was very good. Anyway, we are. Uh, Potting about here on the farm. Uh, we are going to go into town later on. Charles is going to go and vote, and uh, it's our anniversary, so we're going to go out and eat something somewhere uh, soon. Okay, so we are at the temple in Ban Tatum, which is um, just down the road uh, from the house, not uh, from the farm, because obviously Chow is registered at the house. And this is where the um, the voting station is for our area. Obviously, I can't vote, but uh, John's voting. So um, she's been in there, and now she has to go over there and um, register a vote. And then we will be popping to the house, which is just out there and up the road. All right, voting done. Dogs. Happy again, very easily pleased. You just find them a couple of big pork bones like this, and the jobs are good. Uh, we've got um, right the laundry's in, so now we're going to go and do some errands and then we'll come back later. A lot of people today, it's Sunday, so a lot of people today in uh, Tasca Lotus. We just really came to get dog chicken because. We came the other night, everything was been taken away and was finished, so uh, anyway, there's plenty here now. I was busy picking chicken carcasses. Okay, we are at Matcha Paso. Uh, one of the first places we ever came to when we met a long time ago, we sat down over there. Um, uh, almost 11 years ago we we sat over there sat on the floor then but now we sit at the table because it's too hard work on the floor but it's a place we've come to many times Oi. just playing a game as usual but we have ordered our food so we just wait and see Okay, the food's come. Looks very nice. We got the spring rolls. Jam's got mussels with Thai basil steamed. I've got fish pad cha. Yum yum yum. That was good. This one was very spicy, but I like it spicy. Jam's on the phone now. It's Jam with the goats. We just stopped to buy some goat manure for the farm after we've uh, eaten our dinner. So she's getting it loaded up now. Okay, we're just unloading the goat manure. Somebody's helping. Unloading the goat manure for uh, fertilizing. Just having a quick break while I film this. So there it is, all stacked up. Not sure how many sacks, so we're about 20 odd. And um, that will be used for fertilizing. We have cow, chicken, and pig manure as well. So uh, we've got the full repertoire, but um, the goat manure is good because it's it doesn't stink like the rest of them do. And it's in kind of a pellet form naturally so uh, it's kind of convenient some say you need to um, compost it first but um, it'll sort of compost itself and it gets spread around the trees and that so uh, yeah it should be good right, I'm gonna go and open the gate as I am expecting a visit soon and uh, let's have a look at the vegetables down here for a minute. Um, I'm very pleased to see the zucchinis are already bearing fruit. Look at that now. There's one. 
already. I love zucchinis and uh, yeah, that's really good. Right, I'm going to open the gate and then I am going to call it a day. It is um, Monday. As I said, I'm going to call it a day. It's Monday morning, about 11 o'clock. It's and um, I think I'll get this video edited and out today. Um, basically, a quick look at the, the week that's been from Tuesday to Monday. Um, I'm still not really feeling myself, but I'm a lot better most of the time. So um, that's a good news. Um, this week is Christmas week, so. Uh, we work, uh, in my company in Sweden, we work uh, Monday, Tuesday and half day Wednesday, so I won't be working much this week. And then we are closed until the 4th of January. And then we have a holiday on the 6th of January. So um, basically it's a fortnight break now. So um, hopefully we'll get something done and I shall uh, try and share it with you. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, as I say, give us a like. Share the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.